The next track that I would like to show you is the video track. And even though Cubase is a digital audio workstation, you can also import videos, mess around with the sound and even export and do some minor editing. I'll show you right now. So here is a YouTube video of mine and I just dragged this in the project and now we see there is a video track and an audio track. The audio track of course is the audio from the video. And by the way in total you can have two video tracks in Cubase. So when we double click the video track a video player pops up and when we now press play we can see that this video is playing and we can of course hear the audio from that video. And in this constellation Cubase works like any other video editor. You got your transport bar, you can scroll through the video and see what's happening, what's going on in the video player. But you cannot do any editing except using the split tool and making some cuts. These cuts you can then grab and rearrange as you like. But as far as I know there are no other editing uh, functions here. And another thing that we can do is export the whole thing and you would do that just like you export audio. So you go to Cubase, now you go to File, Export and then select Video. And now you can make basically no settings, you cannot mess with the video format, you can add a timecode and you can select which audio is being exported. But apart from that no other options, you get some file information and an estimated file size and required disk space. So let's export this. And the audio export is pretty fast, but the video export for such a small basic video it's pretty slow. And this is why we are going to abort it. We don't want it. You can trust me it worked for me, but as I said it's pretty slow and if you can just use any other video editing program.